Hey guys, how you doing? It's me. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an easy homemade dab rig if you can't afford one or um, something like that. I'm just going to show you how to make a quick one. It's not as easy as making just a normal bong because uh, the heat from the torch, it um, melts it. So I'm just going to give you a quick how-to on how to do First thing is you're going to need your metal slot. Well, actually, it was my brother's, and they got it from the flea market, so. What you have to do is start by taking this off and this off. You also need, like, some pliers to do this. It'll be way easier with pliers. Way easier to pry it off. When... And it's easier to do the black first and then the tip. Pull it straight out. No matter what, like, just pull it out. Do not bend it or anything, because then it'll leave it in there, and you have to get use another bolt. There we go, perfectly out. Oh, what I was saying is it's easier to like, you know, put your tweezers in here and then grab the tip. Pretty sure it's a screw off though. Okay, so yeah, it's easiest to grab it with like this big metal part right in here, like right here, and then twist it and pull. It's gonna fuck up here a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Came right off, just had to twist it off because it's glued in there and there you go now you have a perfect metal tube you have to dab with metal because you know metal doesn't melt that easily not when you're just trying to take a quick dab okay so after I got that off I got one of those like old twisty pins that are like wood and they have these things on them that are metal Anyway, it has these twisty metal things on it, right? And what I did is I just squeezed it to the arrow and then pinched it right here. And now this doesn't move. And this is gonna be really cool, I'm about to show you. I made this a little square-ish. And then second is getting a bottle like this. Take, you get your bottle, take off the tab, take off the lid. You can take this off, it doesn't matter. There you go, it's off is it's just like making a ball and then you kind of measure it out to where you'll be comfortable with being able to like see it and everything so boom cut it now it's shorter then you want to get your like little scissors that you have but you know poke a little hole in it tiny little hole actually and then just like stick it in there a little bit to widen it up so you have like this little hole here. You're gonna heat this up. It's better to use a lighter, but I'm just gonna put my torch on low that I got from Walmart. And then just melt it a little bit with torches, it doesn't take long. And then quickly stick that in there till it's like that. So yeah, this kinda works as a non-removable down stem. Cause I don't really want that metal into the water. So I'm just gonna you know, put it in there to your desired depth. It's really like a down stem extender. So, boom. Just like that. And then if you want to make it airtight, which would be a good idea, and it's harder to remove like this, but I think it's more worth it. You know, put some electrical tape over it. Electrical tape or like plumber's tape is like really good for this. Make it pieces because they make stuff like water and airtight. It's good to put the hole in it after you put the electric tape over it. Make it like a T or a cross. Poke the hole through. And then just put your thing in there. Boom. Way to test if it's really airtight, suck on it. Because of this here, and I can't really put any electrical tape on that, it's not going to be fully airtight. But if you want to be able to remove the slide to clear it, you could just, you know, do that. Pull it out, put it in a couple times. And some people, like my friends, they like to say, why don't you ever have a carb on your bottom? I'm like, because I don't really, I just pulled the slide out. But I'll make a carb on this one. It's gonna be a dab rig. Make, find a place where it's comfortable for you. Yeah. So for me, it's probably gonna be right here on this thing. There we go, we have a little carb hole. Okay. Now, uh, so on those pens that, twirl, that spin, they have these rings on them. You could recognize that. 
what I did is I got one of these sockets. I've used this for dabbing a lot. And then you just basically put this little metal thing in here. Just like that. It fits right and snug in there. Actually, I had to cut it. And then you get your pliers and you stretch it out. And then I'm going to show you why it's better to do this. See this? It fits on there stable. I don't know how. And then for dabbing, you need to have metal to put it on. So I just got, you know, like a chain. I got my little nut here. I put that in the bottom usually. I took, you know, some of these chain links. And then these chain links are like really good for, if you want to take nice and hot dabs, you'll know when it's like fucking blazed. And then you just put the metal in there. Just like that. So then you get your torch, and then, oh, oh shit, cover your car pole. If your car pole is this low, cover it. So, boom, they're heated. They will, they will get red. And then you just, you know, quickly show you how to make a homemade dab tool and a homemade carb cap. So you just get your dabs, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then I just for this really easy I'm just gonna show you how to make it okay so homemade carb cap you could a Pepsi or like a two liter cap would do best for this what you do is you get the cap and then you get a nail shove the nail through the cap I put a washer on there which you should do unless you have like a broad one of these because when the metal touches it, it'll melt the plastic because it's so hot. So then you just put that on there. And then, yep. Yeah. And then I'll show you how to make the dab tool. What this is, is one paper clip where I just stretch this out for like either a poker or whatever, shatter. And then this is for like your butter, which I have right now, so it's really dirty. And then there's also another, the interior of a paper clip is right here. And then I took a razor and put it on there with a small razor and then you could just scrape up your dabs and then put them on there so yeah that's been the dab rig and i hope you guys it works for you peace